Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Nova GS. Um, the last video I left uh, my character here, I was showing you uh, how the Ethernet system works. Here in New Gridania is pretty much the same for uh, every city, every city, sorry. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a little bit of the battle system. It's not gonna be uh, too much. But I want to show you, like I say, uh, the battle system. I'm gonna finish uh, really quick the first quest uh, for the main storyline, right? Close to home. If you remember, we attuned to the crystal, we went to the Conjurer's Guild, and I seen the markets, right? When we turn in the first quest. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a little bit of the battle system today. And, uh,. I just wanted to say thank you guys you know even though it's a small channel and I don't have a lot of subscribers and a lot of people uh, the people that I have already this you know been telling me and giving me you know get feedbacks and stuff you know like advices and other stuff so uh, I want to tell you guys I'm gonna be on the PlayStation experience 2015 in San Francisco I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna be bringing you from there like news what is coming like project Morphe us and uh, Morphe us and other stuff like you know talking about uh, VR you know that is really exciting like see uh, when it's gonna be launched we don't know yet but we're waiting for it it's gonna be the Plank Station experience 2015. It's gonna be just for uh, obviously PlayStation 4 and uh, other uh, consoles that Sony has, like games and stuff. But uh, I know it's not gonna be a lot of PC games, maybe a few of them. But I'm gonna be showing you guys from there everything. I'm gonna be with uh, other YouTubers and friends that I have. We're gonna go together and show you guys everything from there. So maybe we're gonna be we're gonna be live streaming from there so you know guys just uh, subscribe to the channel like the videos and you know be aware that we're gonna be there and we're gonna be giving you uh, news from you know and live from the from the PlayStation experience 2015 uh, so well we're already turning the first quest the first main story line quest so it's gonna ask us that we're gonna ha have to be level four in order to keep going with the main storyline. So what, what are we gonna do now? Uh, my advice is, you. I'm gonna show you what I did with my first character, with my first uh, job. Uh, you have. Uh, let's start like. Uh, so let me show you this uh, like the kind of meteor logo or something is the main storyline quest right you have to know you know and learn to to you know difference this from the regular ones so this one is gonna be always your main storyline quest and you're gonna have this ones like circles like I'm showing you with the the mouse guys uh, this is gonna be the regular side quest right okay uh, a lot of people tell me and a lot of people do side quests just to get there I'm not gonna be doing that today uh, I'm gonna walk oh you know what I'm not gonna walk as I show you I'm gonna I want to show you how important is uh, what we did on the Ethernet shark guy or the Ethernet network so a lot of guy, a lot of people do side quests just to get to you know level four. What I do is this: I'm just gonna go to uh, Blue Badger Gate, Central Shroud, and I'm gonna be killing some mobs. That's what I do. Uh, why? Because guys, think about it. If you start doing all the side quests, this is gonna be for who, those you know that are starting the game right now. If you start doing all the side quests and you finish them right with this one then you want to create another or you want to get another job 
it's gonna be useless and it's gonna be really hard to level up you don't have idea how annoying it is when you're level 50 or 60 to get another character to level 15 pretty much when you know you can start be uh, doing some dungeons so what I do is I just save that side quest I save them and I just do the mainstream line quest right right now it's asking us for level 4 what I do is I'll, I always go one level ahead so if it's asking me for level 4 I'm gonna go and kill some maps till level 5 righty so it's gonna tell me some stuff of helping system about the battle I'm, I'm not gonna do it because like I said I already know the game so we're gonna be killing these level 1 um, squirrels and little ladybugs and a conjurer so uh, not like a damage type uh, but uh, yeah they have good damage conjurers they can be like really good uh, they have really good DPS check um, not as good as uh, no 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 not as good as uh, DPS we're talking like a summoner lancer whatever but yeah they can do some uh, they can deal some damage so I'm gonna be leveling up here probably till 5 and level 5 I'm gonna show you a special system or a different system that's like questing um, that I'm gonna show you uh, that is gonna help you to level up guys but especially me in particular I don't do that because I save that because you have you can do uh, it takes uh, allowances what is allowances is this you go to your journal and you're gonna see it in here you I have s nothing right now because I haven't unlocked it but you can get on to a uh, hundred I think but it takes a long time to get it guy and we're gonna use it for other things that I'm gonna show you you know after like a farther like we, when we get to level 15 or 20 maybe I'm gonna start showing you for what I need that I don't use it on the bottle battle jobs it's uh, for me it's like kind of useless and it's pointless so I'm gonna be showing you pretty much all oh, you see this blue bar here this is our experience bar right experience and this is our like blue bar that we have this is rest uh, experience guys this is one of the benefits or we can say benefits that you have in this game if you log out for a few days you 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 know you're going to work or you're going whatever you leave your character inside a town and it's gonna be getting resting you know experience it's gonna be getting it getting it getting it and it's gonna give you a bonus of experience till you finish it you can like get uh, until through three four levels of uh, rex like rest experience but it depends on you know how, like how long you're gonna be offline with that character but yeah it gives you like a really huge bonus and if you you know and if you are in a free company and plus you have food and you have the free company that's experience buff it's gonna be a huge difference it's gonna be a really big difference on uh, on the experience that you're getting so this is a battle system, binding Indian, binding items. Gosh, I still I, I just make a a Spanish video for my other channel. So binding items, what that means? Yet in this game we have uh, like a spirit bonding. Oh gosh, let me kill this boss and I'm gonna show you. We have like a spirit bonding, right? The system that you can you can convert those items. Uh, what size? No. I don't know what that we need to show you. Oh, I know why. Yeah. Okay, I'll fix it later. Let me fix it. In a, I don't help. I know it was my fault. All right. So yeah, uh, you're gonna be spirit bonding, right? You. It's not gonna let me show you, but we have like the green bar that is like the, the status or of the item, you know, when you have to repair and stuff. And that little little blue bar that we have, uh, that is going up, is the speedy binding system. 
what happens when you get all 100% of speeding bonding? You can convert uh, that item into material. And you, of course, you get uh, random material from it, but it's gonna help you. If we, you, you, you may have a chance that you get a little nice um, material, whatever. And you can sell it or you can use it. It's up to you guys. That's the binding item system or the speed bonding system. How do you speed it bond? It's gonna speed it bond. It depends of the level of the mob that you're killing, the level of the item that you ha you're you ha you're wearing, and your level. So that means if I have a level 34 item gear, and uh, if I'm killing level 30 mobs and I'm level 30, let's say. That means I'm gonna be getting a uh, experience bonding from it. If I'm level 30, I have level 20 gear and I'm killing level 1 mobs, it's not gonna go up. It's not gonna speed bond my item. So it's gonna have to be like think, 3 or 4 levels under or 3 or 4 levels up above of whatever you are. So this is uh, pretty much what I'm gonna be doing till level 5. I mean, it's not, I you know guys, it's not that as fast as you start doing side quests and stuff. But that's my, my recommendation, you don't have to follow it. You can do your side quests and it's gonna be a little bit faster, it's not that much of a difference. But that's what, you know, that's my advice of, of you know, you should get to level 5 just doing this. And it's really quick, you're gonna spend probably half an hour and you're gonna keep going with your storyline. So remember guys, the best way to level up to first character is the main storyline. So if you do this, and you go one level ahead of what they're asking you, you're gonna be always ahead on the storyline, because if not, you're gonna be under and they're gonna ask you, oh, it's gonna be on red, like, like it's showing me. So you're gonna have to level up, go and get that level up and then come back and do and the stuff. So just try to be always one level ahead or two from the main story line. When you get the dungeon system unlocked, you can spam the dungeons and it's gonna be easier for you to level up, you know what I'm saying? But, but, uh, sorry, uh, that's my, my recommendation. Also, remember guys, if you're thinking on start playing this game, do it as a tank type job or healer support job. Because, why? I know it's really nice to be a DPS, it's really nice to be the one dealing the damage. It's cool, the skills and such stuff. But if you, you know, you wanna try to in, you know, do like an investment time, like type of, type of like time investment, just start with a healer and tank. And you'll see, you're gonna go, you're gonna get insta queues, you're not gonna be waiting for dungeons. And you're gonna get to understand again and then you can change like I said remember guys you don't have to create another character in order to get another job you just can unlock that job with this character with the same character that you're playing so that's my recommendation you start with a healer get to understand healer is better than tank or whatever I like both it's whatever you like I say healer is better because you just heal and you know you don't have to be dealing with aggro and hate and stuff and you know but that's that's my recommendation guys that's my advice for you just try to start with um these two types of uh of um jobs what is the uh, what is what is it what is a uh, healer tank type just the marauder or the gladiator that's the first two starting when you create a, char a character and uh healer support just the conjurer it can be a arcanist but you have to get to level 30 to unlock the a scholar a scholar uh yeah so uh i think that's gonna be all for today guys i'm gonna i'm recording right now well i'm gonna be recording right now a video of final fantasy 15 for you guys to show you a little bit of the demo how it is and stuff and like i say i'm gonna be on the playstation spirits we're gonna see you guys from there i'm live streaming probably uh, I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll see and uh, remember guys to subscribe like the video share the video and you know if you have any requests you know about any guy that you have in mind that you need 
or stuff just let me know and I'll, I will do it I have my other character I was going to do another like a 